So there's three aspects of feelings. And the, the first and most important is to be aware of what you're feeling. Okay? So parents come in and say, well, my kid doesn't know how to empathize. And they might be three years old, they might be eight years old. Or it might even be your husband who's an engineer. You know, like the ability to relate to and understand feelings. And so what we know now from the research is that a prerequisite to being able to be empathetic, to have empathy and to understand other people's feelings, is to know your own feelings. So what does sadness feel like? What is anger? What is guilt? What is shame? What is hurt? What is fear? And to be able to understand all those feelings and be able to recognize those feelings in other kids' faces. Some kids run into trouble on the playground because they're misinterpreting some of the facial signals that are being sent to them and thinking somebody's going to hit them when it's really the kid's scared of them kind of stuff. So there's all kinds of challenges that sometimes kids have with being able to interpret and understand and be able to um, deal with feelings. A second piece of the feelings um, uh, idea is that expressing feelings on our own through crying, having a good cry, we'll talk more about that in a second, and other forms of constructively release, ways of expressing feelings like telling kids to run around the block or punch a punching bag or do something with their anger, not just manage and control, which is also good, but also find constructive ways of venting feelings because what we know about feelings is they want to come out. Feelings want to come out. We don't want to hold them inside any more than we want to hold a burp in our tummy and have a bad tummy ache. So that's a really important point. And then the third piece, and ideally sometimes this comes after, if I'm really frustrated with somebody or something, let's say my boss didn't give me the raise and I'm really pissed off about that, he gave it to somebody else. It's best for me sometimes to just go work out my anger on my own and then create the conversation where I can talk to that person in a constructive, caring way. And sometimes we're too flooded. We've got too much feelings going on inside such that we can't express feelings in that measured or tempered way. <coughs> 